Recognized as one of the most popular brands in the world, Smith & Wesson has been around for 160 years. Perpetually one of the top firearm brands in the world. Today we'll be looking at two varieties of M&P 9mm. MMP stands for military and police. And as you can imagine, it's very popular among law enforcement. The MMP shield was introduced in 2012. Shields make great everyday carry because of their thinner design. The MMP M2.0 is a step up in size, allowing for less muzzle flip. It was released in, I believe, 2017. If it's a concern for you, one way to counteract the muzzle flip of an MMP shield is to go with a ported barrel like this Performance Center. Magazines will typically hold a 7 plus 1 or an 8 plus 1 in the shields and you have a full-size mag of a 15 plus one for your M2.0. Today we're going to be shooting with our not very clean and pretty Wolf Performance. It is 115 grain full metal jacket. It does have your typical bull nose tip. Great for target practice. However, this is a little bit what we call dirty ammo. It means you're going to have to clean your firearm after you shoot with us. If you are doing an everyday carry, please, please, please use your regular defensive ammo and shoot with that as well. It may have a little different feel. This is just a great way to kind of make sure that you stay up and you're ready for your everyday. Without further ado, let's start shooting. That'll work. It's good. You know what? I, I love the shield. I love the smaller footprint of it. It makes it super easy to conceal. It's very lightweight to carry. No problems at all. It feels comfortable and I do like a little bit of a more of an extension as opposed to the one that's the 7 plus 1. For me personally, the ported barrel of the Performance Center shield is much more comfortable as far as the muzzle flip and getting back on target. Uh, I find that I have a lot less less um, spray <laughs> if I'm using a um, ported barrel. This MMP 9mm shield is the regular one, the non-performance center one, so it does not have the ported barrel. To me, it's been a long time, but to me it feels like it has a little bit more muscle in it, a little bit, takes a little bit longer to get back on target. The performance center shield the ported barrel has the high vis sights on it. These ones are more stock stuff than you would expect uh, to see, so we'll just see how I do. So, a little bit lower than I expected, um, especially considering when I 
I did the performance center, I was still, you know, roughly less than the size of a fist. Same amount of ammunition, and I started to spread out a little bit more. Again, I attribute that to the ported barrel. <clears throat> As you can see with the MMP M2.0 9mm, um, I had a couple strays and that was just strictly because when we were trying to film the camera had to be right in front of me to see if we could get the um, sights lined up. The other, you know, the other sight grouping, pretty, pretty good. Um, if you think about, you know, the size of a fist, I am well within that. The MMP Shield 9mm, um, the non-performance center one, has standard sights on it. As you can tell, the spray gets a little bit more spread apart. Not the greatest, but again, it's the non-ported one and I sort of expected that. The MMP Shield 9mm performance center with the ported barrel, right what I expect. Yeah, it's less than the size of a hand less than the size of my fingers actually if you think about it I'm, it's actually pretty pretty small grouping not dissatisfied with that again that is my preferred everyday carry is the performance center gave the uh, original standard sight <laughs> non-ported barrel to my husband just because of what you can see this down here and as i mentioned the muzzle flip is significantly less way more accurate with a little bit larger of a pistol just depends on what you want to carry